Hello, I'm the Dad, and today I want to show you how to install the Vita Half by Loader at the Farmer 3.12 via the Japanese Exploit game. If you don't have the Japanese Exploit game, you cannot do this. At first, you need, of course, the files for the Japanese Exploit game. Just use the search box at zlot.net and search for 3.12 or whatever. Download the files, and then you have to search for 138 or the 138 menu because it's a lot of easier to use this menu for the half by loader than the default one. If you have both of these files um, then we will continue. I also downloaded a homebrew so I can show you how to in install homebrew so I don't have to do two videos. At first you have to open the .rar or .zip file and in there are two files. You have just to extract these two folders and if you're done you can close the zip file. You will see this one has the exploit.r file and this one has the files for the half byte loader. Then next you can open the 138 menu folder and you open it again. And you have to drag and drop all these files. If you've done this, you cut these files and put them in this folder. You can just replace all the files since this menu is superior. If we have done this, we copy these two safe data to our direction where our safe data are. For, for me, it's libraries, documents, psvd, and then psafe data, then this weird folder with the numbers, and then there are all my safe games. Then we will just paste them in here. You can see both are in here. Now let's go back to our homebrew. Y we have to look in our homebrew, it has to be called eboot.pvp and all the other necessary files also have to be there, like these files for the example of book R, then you have to right click it and then you have to call it install.zip and pretty, in pretty important is the compression has to be stored. My, um, com my computer is German so there are German words but the very top option in WinRAR is store, so it's not compressed. If we've done this, we have this little install.zip. We also copy this one and put it in any save game we have. For example, in the save game of Angry Birds. Okay, now we're done and we'll continue on the PS Vita. Okay, the next thing we have to do is we go into the content manager app and copy content. Be sure that your PS Vita is connected to your computer. Then when we go to PC, Applications, and then we go to PSP slash other. In there should be our safe data files. There they are. The two Japanese ones and the Angry Birds one, since the Angry Birds one has our homebrew. Oops. And we go to copy and copy the content. If it asks to override data, just do it. Okay, the next thing is we have to start the game and then I will show you how to exploit the game, start the VHBL. Okay, now we continue on the PS Vita. At first, uh, we have of course to start the game. And if we start the game, I will show you how to launch the Vita half byte loader. At first we have to go to arrange and since this is a Japanese game, we have to press circle instead of X. Then we use the last option, in the first option, then we load the exploit.r, yes, and it's loaded. Then we press X four times and go back to the main menu. 
back in the main menu we go to pendant then we use the first option then we use the second option press on a team press on our exploit team press back with X and go to OK then we select our exploit team then we press OK 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 and OK then we press yes and then we can skip this with start and we can skip this weird bunch with third block Okay, now since we are here, we use the last option, which is save. And then we have to save this one. Just use the first save game and save it. If we saved it, we go back with X, and then we choose the first option. And then we just have to press circle all the time. From now on, it should be just waiting. It should load pretty soon. And now it should load or crash. There we go, it's loading. And there we go, the 138 menu. As you can see in the 138 menu, we have some homebrews like PSP Filer, some Tester, PS Plower, and etc. Then we also have some settings so we can change like the language or stuff, but we don't have to do this now. Um, the reason I've showed you how to prepare the install.zip file is so you know how to install homebrews, and in this menu, you can just scroll to the install category press X and as you can see I'm even online in PSN without any problems and then you go just to lock here angry birds and install the files you can see at the top it's installing the files in PSP slash VHP slash book R slash menu dot bin like it should be and if it's done you, sh you will return to the menu As you can see, book reader is now on our PS Vita. So that's basically my tutorial. Um, I can show you that some homebrews are working. Like I think book reader should be working. Yeah, book reader is working. I will just exit it, so I can show you another homebrew. And otherwise, if you want to see what's working at this VHB, just check my other video. I've already made one for this one. Oh, and of course, at the most recent firmware. At firmware 3.12.